Now, it is no secret that I love comics. And I love all kinds of comics. I love 90s comics. I love 80s comics. I love new comics. I love independent comics. I love stuff from Marvel and DC. Um, but what I really love, I mean, I love all that. But I also really love really old comics. Like these that my dad gave me, these old super here, Superman comics. This stuff is just weird stuff that I find in 25 cent bins and dollar bins sometimes. My dad had a ton of Jimmy Olsen's. This is looking for some Kirby stuff. Here's a reprint, but it's still pretty cool. X-Men number one. Um, again, Kirby stuff, always looking for Kirby stuff. I got a really cool collection of like old comics that you guys may or may not have seen before. Ratty, I like to get the uh, really low grade stuff because they're cheaper and I can afford them. But I found something that's awesome. If you love old comics like I do and you can't have access to them as easily as you want, there is an awesome place online that I found that I cannot get this new website I cannot get enough of it's called comic book plus let's check it out look at this website comicbookplus.com spelled out plus is spelled out p-l-u-s uh, I mean this is just such a cool website I am like absolutely addicted if you want to just go dig into the archives of old comic books you can find all kinds of titles of all different genres um, and just read till your heart's content and you can even download them you know to your own you know phone or computer and check it out there's tons of categories they have pulp fiction they, they don't just have comics it is called comic book plus and uh, they have a forum they have comic books comic strips um, old time radio shows, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff. Like if you really go digging and they, you can find so much and, and they come out, out with new stuff. Like they upload new stuff every single, I don't know, maybe not every day, but pretty regularly. Like this month alone, they definitely have a ton of new, uh, stuff that they've uploaded and, and it's uh user base too. So a lot of users come, come in and, um, you know, they, they contribute, but, uh, it is one thing that's also really awesome about it is it's all pretty much as far as, as they can tell, it's all in the public domain. So you're not going to get, you know, your Marvel and DC stuff, you know, which, you know, it is what it is, but you'll get some stuff that kind of reflects that, or, or maybe is the inspiration for that kind of stuff, but you're going to get a lot of other awesome stuff. Um, and here, let's just take a look at, at what I found so far, you know, that I, I actually didn't realize, but there's this section called comic marks. So you can like bookmark anything you want that you come across that you really like. So I've been really looking into like old sci-fi comic books and stuff lately for some inspiration and um, all kinds of stuff. I mean, I found all of these like old, like they have like these books, these um, what are they, all alphabet books. And um, they just, they're illustrated alphabets, I guess, for kids and stuff. But some of them are crazy. Here's one that's more in the superhero realm, Big Three. I was looking at this today. Um, so here, this this will show you what it's like to come onto the site. It, it gives you all kinds of stats right at the top. Um, and a lot of times there'll be multiple issues of a certain title. Um, and then what happens is they have the actual issue that you can read and it's really good in the um, you know the uh, vertical format of your phone you can see the whole page really nice and it's like and that's one thing like when I've seen like reprints of old comics I always it's always like this remastered version but this shows the actual scanned pages of a lot of these comics and some of them are better quality than others but for the most part they're all really good quality and you can actually download the book or you can um, you know, you can save it to your your um, to your bookmarks and stuff like that, and you get all this awesome like all the ads and stuff that are in there. So you get all these like cool extra things that you would never see if you just got like a reprint. 
And I don't know, like to me, this stuff is amazing. It's super inspiring. I like to get a retro look out of my comics anyway. So like if you're a creator, I mean, it's just like endless um, inspiration, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. I mean, some people might not like this old school stuff, but I really like it. And the thing is, too, that's interesting if you're a creator is all this stuff is in the public domain. So, you know, you have it. it the potential to um, to really just um, find some some interesting things that you could actually use, you know, for your own comics. You could actually like redo like a story from one of these old comics, or you could even like remaster. Look at this! I found like these old like horror monster books or whatever. Um, th these are actually just old magazines, um, and they're pretty cool. Like. Like, check this stuff out. Um, this is like an old um, mad scientist lair that was probably from a movie, probably from Frankenstein's monster or something. I'm not super familiar, so this might even be like the most famous movie, and I don't even know it. Um, and, you know, there we go, Frankenstein's monster right there. Pretty cool, right? Like, I mean, the inspiration is like endless here. There's all kinds of stuff. There was one uh, page. Let's see. This is eight, number 8 of 82. Let's see if I can find um, a couple cool things that I, I noticed from this. Oh, you know what? It's skipping out on me. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. Bear with me. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> it's so cool. I don't know. It, it's just really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff on this site. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> The Wolfman, like, look at that. And it's kind of like a funny thing. It says, I predict your magazine will be a howling success. Rots of Ruck the Werewolf. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so, um, and there's the cover. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Um, I found these things. These are called Little Big Books. Maximo, amazing Su the Amazing Superman. This is, I don't know if this is before Superman or what, but this is not your typical Superman <laughs> and the Super Machine. So these are, these little books are really cool. Uh, what are we in here now? We got some, uh, got some advertisements. There is advertisements on the site. I don't know why it's not, it's not showing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So these are like little books, I guess, that, that used to be out. And um, it's like one side has like uh, a little bit of the story and the other side has a picture. And this one's really cool because there's like actually an animation in the corner. I think I think this is the one where, yeah, you can see right in the top right corner, there's the beginning of an animation. So there's like 216 pages. So if you flip through really quickly, you can see a cool little animation, plus you get a little story right there. So like, I mean, look at this illustration. It's beautiful too, like old classic comic book illustration. I mean, this, this stuff is so fun. There's just, again, no limit to the uh, inspiration you can get from these things. All right, so I'm gonna, this is, here's one that I was looking at today that I really liked, and then I'm gonna go into you know, not much else, but like, I just want to show you guys some of the cool stuff. Like, this is the sci-fi stuff I was looking at. Really love it. Rex Dexter, like, I, I have to do like some fan art or something of this. You know, it's just, it's just too awesome. Uh, some of it's taken a little while to load, I guess, but, um, oh, here we go. Here's like a splash page of Rex Dexter. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? So let's see. Then another thing I found today was Pogo, the famous um, uh, comic strip. Um, Pogo, they, he, they have like these informational pamphlets. It's just a weird little corner of the site that I found, and it's got like these informational pamphlets. And here's one image I really liked of like this hippo eating the tiger. But this whole pamphlet is just, it takes this tiger through this these different stages of... Um, what it's like to get a job <laughs> so it's all about like why you should get a job and how you can find a job and if you want you if you lose your job how you can but it's drawn by um you know the famous pogo artist which i should know off the top of my head but of course walt kelly there we go <laughs> so when you scroll down there's all this cool information too um on every comic and some some stuff is you know not so popular um, so you're, you're only going to see a little bit of information, but some stuff has a ton of information. All the artists, the writers, the inkers, all that stuff. 
so that's really cool and then last but not least I wanted to get to one more book because I actually did some fan art recently and you might have seen it on my um, channel my, my Instagram and stuff but I did some fan art of Blue Bolt which is a comic started by Joe Simon who is the famous the first real collaborator with uh, Jack Kirby where Jack Kirby really cut his teeth um, and actually I didn't want to show this one because uh, this is like a different weird version of it but I'll show this one here um, but Jack Kirby and him collaborated on this book and it's like one of the first things they like really collaborated on and um, yeah I don't know it's just really cool um, old school stuff and uh, you know, it's kind of where Jack Kirby cut his teeth, and it's in the public domain. You can make, if you want, you can make a Blue Bolt, Bolt comic and not get um, caught. And this is some early Jack Kirby work right here, you know. And jo Joe Simon, I think they both worked on this issue to get together. And look at that beautiful work right there. I mean, it's just amazing. You know, I don't know. To me, this illustration is amazing. And this is kind of in the sci-fi sci realm as well. Um but it's like old school sci-fi, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know, it's pretty darn cool in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. I think it's a really cool website and um, there's, it's just endless weird corners. There's like, um, I found like some old vintage video and stuff also in the public domain um, on here. There's all kinds of things, old Flash Gordon episodes, like, and if you go to um, Comic Book Plus um, YouTube, you'll find all that stuff. All their um, public domain stuff is right on their YouTube channel. So you can actually just go there and look through it if you want. But yeah, I mean, you guys got to check this website out. It's endless inspiration. And uh, I think I'm going to be talking a lot more about um, Creative Commons and public domain stuff because there's a lot of cool opportunities and inspiration from all of that stuff. And as you can see, I was so inspired by what I was looking through on that site that I ended up making this piece of fan art of Blue Bolt. And I just had a blast doing it, kind of making it have a little bit of a retro feel, but at the same time kind of updating it into my own style. And and uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure, you know, and, and don't take my advice. You look up for yourself what's legal and what's not, But because um, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure that I can legally print these out if I wanted to and sell them and I would have no issues legally no matter what because this character is in the public domain. I could be wrong but you know from what I hear you know there's some pretty cool things you can do but either way I just made this for fun for myself for like to throw on Instagram and stuff really is the whole point of this um, and you know I don't know look at Look at what it inspired me to do, and if you're a creator, I think that that website has definitely got tons of inspiration and just fun also. I mean, even if you just want to read some cool comics, I mean, I think it's the perfect place to go. And, I mean, I'll just let you know, this isn't like something that's sponsored. This is just an awesome website that uh, some fellow creators have showed me and I was like, well, let me do a video about it and share it with everybody. Cause I'm sure a lot of people have maybe not heard of this who might be interested in this. So, um, yeah, hopefully you dig it. Hopefully it's interesting. I'm going to put a link down below to my comic book list. Cause you can, you can register for the site. There's forums and stuff. You could talk to people and you can register for the site. And when you do that, you can make your comic marks. And when you make your comic marks, you can actually have a link that you can share out to people so you can share with people what you're reading and stuff like that so that's kind of cool and I'm, I'll be adding to my comic marks as I go I just found out about that part today so I've been looking on that thing for months but now I just found out about that so um, yeah I'll be adding to that and if you want to check out some stuff I'm checking out cool if not just check out what you want for yourself and uh, hopefully you dig it and uh, thanks for watching um, if you like this please like comment and subscribe for more content like this and I will talk to you next time. Peace out.